going on guys we are back with another Skylander review this one being a guy I, re I recently got three days ago in a triple pack chop chop he actually is really freaking good I've never taken on two paths before because I didn't like one but I chose his shield one and regretted it greatly I'm not even gonna lie I maxed it out it just does not do as much as you think it's really disappointing that Activision couldn't get that together but the sword is just overwhelmingly powerful and I'm going to go to Lair of Chaos purposely just to show you how amazing he is. He is so effing strong with these sword abilities. It's ridiculous. The shield I was very disappointed with because it was so cool. And it had so much potential. Sky, Look at that sword. Fight. It's huge. So, first off, level 10, Undead Skylander. 21 heroic challenges done right now. And he doesn't have a hat, I just realized. Oh my god. Well, let's give him one, shall we? You know which one I'm going to pick because I'm still missing some of the armor and critical hit challenges. doesn't even match his head, sadly, but, you know, it'll do great. So, back to this, though. Okay. So, first off, powers. Arcane Blade. Slash away your enemies with this ancient blade. Notice how small the sword is at first. Now look at mine. Arcane Shield. Hold B to protect yourself from most attacks. Also deflects projectiles. That is really useful. You'll see it later. Spiked Shield Bash. While holding B, press A to Shield Bash an enemy. Vampiric Aura. Sword does extra damage and regain health by defeating enemies. That is an amazing ability. You kill enemies and you get like 7 to like 15 health per thing. It's ridiculous. Shield Spartan. Move faster and block more damage while holding B on the Wii Remote. Bone Brambler. Press Z on the Wii Remote to attack enemies with Bone Brambles. Bone Bramble is pretty much like bone vines just coming out of the ground really fast. It's really cool. Now for his, like I told you, the shield one it was not impressed with, so I actually just had to redo him today, which I was a little pissed about. But I got him the sword one. So we have Arcane Combat Master. Press A, A, and hold B for Arcane Cyclone. That's where he like does it, like this little dance with his sword and then just cir uh, circles around and just slices everything. And then the other one is press A, A, and hold Z for an arcane leap. So where he does two swords attack, and then he leaps and does those bramble attacks where he shoots those skull vine things out of the ground. It's really cool. Arcane Vorpal Blade. Sword attack does even more increased damage. This one's ridiculous. Demon Blade of the Underworld. Swords have longer range and do maximum damage. He's a fucking beast, guys. Because of how amazing his defense is from the start, and then to how amazing his attack can be. Oh my god, he's a force to be reckoned with. I bet Cinder will still top him, but still, I'm pretty impressed with what I have. Oops. And then his soldier, my buddy. Cursed Bone Bramble. Bone Brambles do extra damage. Requires Soul Gem in Shattered Island. It would have been cooler if they went longer and stuff and were bigger, but, you know, it's whatever. So without further ado, let's see Chop Chop at work. Like, look how effing fast. See all those little green things? I just healed because I killed all those guys. Watch again. Healed. See that? Hold the shield out. Smash them. Now, if you take the shield upgrade ability... What will happen is, for all you guys that want to know, is when you do this to an enemy, it stuns them. It was really cool at first, but the damage does not compare it compared to the sword ability. I'm sorry, it just does not. He's so freaking strong with this sword. I'm, it's a joke. I think I could probably solo chaos. He's that good. I want to try that, to be honest. Alright, next. Brambles. See those? It's like bone things that stick out of the ground. They're really cool looking. Let's do a combo. See, he does like circular motion. It's really cool. His whole look reminds me of uh, Riku from Kingdom Hearts uh, when he was in Heartless mode. If you guys know of that game, you probably should buy it if not. And, um,. He just does that. I mean, he has that type of feel and look. Especially with the sword. It just looks like Rico's Dark Keyblade type of feel. And I love it. Brings back memories. 
So let's show you some other ones. Alright. I'm gonna let I'm gonna try to deflect some attacks so you can see it work. Oh let me do one of the combos. See? He does two swipes and then shoots the brambles. It's hard to aim it though, because everyone's always moving. Now, let me just find the guys that shoot the projectiles. And then you'll see how to use one of his shield abilities that are basic. Guy had so much potential for both paths, but they just chose to overpower him with the sword. So, you yeah. know, I tried to go for versatility, but just couldn't do it. It's too overwhelming how amazing and powerful he is. Always take out this guy first, always. Look how freaking quacks he kills knights. Ridiculous. Can you imagine what he does to chaos? Okay. He's a pretty fast little dude too when you first get him. I need two more speed characters still. Double trouble and one other one I can't remember right now. Alright, now watch this. They're gonna shoot at me. Now watch this. Hit A. See how my shield just turned red? Shit, I'm gonna kill these. I need you guys to see this. Stuff. Okay, watch this. So they're gonna hit that. Second something re reflects against that, my shield's gonna turn red. See that? And then he just charges friggin' in like a bat out of hell. It's crazy. Watch this again. See how it's red? Boom. Just charges and just rapes him. So yeah, Chop Chop is an absolute beast. An absolute must. I can see why people wanted him so bad. And I got him in the triple pack with Eruptor. They're both really great characters. I was really surprised at how great they were. They looked crappy when I first saw them. But yeah, he, he's amazing. Incredible buy. So, when we get back, we are going to do his challenge, which is probably the most grueling, annoying challenge they have. So stay tuned. See ya.